Hi, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite items to buy at the Dollar Tree and some fun new finds that I found on a recent visit. I will be the first to admit that when Dollar Tree prices went up, my enthusiasm for shopping there went down. It just wasn't as much fun to shop there and I wasn't finding as many interesting items as I had in the past. But that changed on a recent visit, which I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to start off though by sharing my top six favorite items to purchase from the Dollar Tree. My favorite Dollar Tree item are plastic cutting mats, and I use this for clay projects. I will use this for a class or two, and then I will wash them in the sink and then just pop them onto the drying rack. I like this method because it really cuts down on the clay dust in my classroom. I used to very frequently purchase paper bags, like lunch sacks from the Dollar Tree. I will use these for certain projects, and I also use them on my ketchup and pickle day, which is an end of the quarter free day. Students make many items during this day, and I have them just write their name on the outside of a bag and then put the items inside that they are taking home. The problem is, is Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.25 for around 50 bags. You can buy many more bags for a cheaper price if you look at Walmart. You just can't beat dollar store prices for containers. One of my favorite containers is the dish pans. These work great for storing student clay projects and then wrapping a plastic bag around the outside of the container or putting clay projects in Ziploc bags right into the container. It's easy to be able to buy a whole set of those containers, which makes them hard to resist. I used to frequently buy dollar store trays that are made out of styrofoam and plates just to use as paint palettes that we could use one time and quickly throw away. Now prices have gone up at Dollar Tree and these are now a much better deal to get a giant pack from Walmart. I'm a huge fan of doing projects with Q-tips because essentially they are paintbrushes that you don't need to wash, you can just throw away. So I do this when I do color mixing with my younger grades and I have several other projects that I love that I'll pop up on the screen so you can check those out as well. I often buy the paint dot markers from the Dollar Tree. Now these are packaged as bingo daubers at the Dollar Tree and they're very similar to the do a dot markers that you'd buy for a much higher cost in an art catalog. I'm adding in a bonus item here that I just remembered as my class started doing the yarn weaving unit. I purchased plastic pictures from the Dollar Tree and I have students thread the yarn out through the spot where the um, water or liquids would come out. Now this helps so that students are able to dispense their own yarn and it works better for me than the box dispensers of yarn because if something happens and we do lose the end of the yarn, students are able to open it up they're only um, touching one color and they're able to fix it independently. So I mentioned at the start of this video that the Dollar Tree was just hot the last time that I was there. And here's the things that came back to my classroom with me. Scratch art. I kind of bought a whole case of this. Um, it's 50 pieces of scratch art paper and it seems to be the same quality of any other scratch art that I've purchased. There's only one stick in here, so I did have to supplement that, but I put these out for a recent free day and they were a hit. I could also see using these if you have an extra few minutes uh, and you need to burn that with a class um, as an incentive. I could also see using this as a back to school collaborative project because the price is so low that every student could create one on the first day with low mess and a really beautiful result. I was able to find many texture items when I was at the Dollar Tree and that came back with me as well. Like these shower combs, these can be used for adding texture into clay, but also creating those fun painted papers. Um, I think the 12 pack of combs is a great deal and works really well for adding textures into painting. These little bath scrubbers caught my attention because they have a little handle there on the back. It's a little suction cup and on the front, you can have students apply this either as a stamp or by rubbing it around to create those fun papers. Um, I saw someone else post that they were finding like what was a fondant knife, like a cake decorating knife, 
um, that had these bumpy edges and they were going to use that for the textures um, with the painted papers. I wasn't able to find those, but I did find this pool noodle knife and I don't know how this is going to uh, be used in my classroom if I'm going to be cutting pool noodles, if you're doing the um, donut projects that I've seen everywhere, that could be fun. Or this might be something that students kind of um, wipe across their project and create different fun textures within their paint. Some other things I noticed that would be great for our teachers were these handheld mirrors for selfies. They had a lot of cake decorating supplies, which was new for me. Um, and the plastic ones looked as though they'd be great for clay. There was an icing comb, I guess, for fondant that looked like that would be good for adding texture to paint. They just only had one left. Um, and they had the color decorative icing, which would be really fun for color mixing, end of the year projects where you're doing color wheels on vanilla wafers. And the art section seemed to have a lot more materials than I had seen before and more brand names. They now have Prang paint, although it's a very small container of paint. Um, I noticed that they had lots and lots of plastic um, things next to the cake decorating supplies. And these are really great because you can color on them with Sharpie. You can also glue on rhinestones and do different projects. Um, I found this little, I guess it's an egg holder, maybe a deviled egg holder. Um, and it had a lid to it as well. So this would work really nicely for a palette. But I'm too lazy to wash it. So that didn't make it home with me. I saw that they had really stocked up all the office supplies. And again, seeing lots of name brands, I found some Crayola washable glue um, and it was colored glue. So it dries in really bright colors. There were smaller bottles, but then I also noticed some larger um, nine fluid ounces bottles that was color changing glue where the color changed from blue to purple. And then they also had washable glue um, which is the kind of glue that has a brush built into the lid. I'm a really big fan of the reusable containers like this. So this might be something worth checking out. That's definitely the lowest price I've ever seen on that product. Um, with the pencil sharpeners, I was seeing quite um, a variety of those, including some that were Crayola brand that claimed to be pencil and crayon sharpeners. Uh, they had a wide variety of spring uh, materials in wood. And they had lots and lots of different craft supplies that I hadn't seen before, including this very, it says Just Chanel, really soft yarn. And they had um, a little bit of modeling clay in a variety of colors and also like a small mini loom with those um, rainbow looms that kids really love. There was a huge selection of vinyl, which I guess the price would be right if you were just doing a really small project. And these roller cutters, which I'm not sure how sharp they are. I didn't pick one up to try it, but it seemed like it could be something that would be helpful to have in the art room. And the teaching supplies as well seemed to be really well stocked when I went. And I was excited to see that they had Lisa Frank and Pete the Cat stickers. Nail polish is something I've bought in the past um, from Dollar Tree because it's really good for labeling things. So if you wanted to label all your paintbrushes, and all of the ones that had a pink stripe on it, they go together. That's a really cheap and inexpensive way to do that. I also really like the cleaning supplies at Dollar Tree. It's nice to have a set of small handheld brooms on hand for your students so that they can feel as though they are helping to clean up. Kindergartners and first graders absolutely love this. And I'm a big fan of wearing um, reusable gloves when I'm doing any cleaning in the sink or wiping off tables and things like that so that my hands don't get all colored. Um, and I've always bought the um, frames from the Dollar Tree. And this is something I use throughout my room. I use these to display my classroom rules. And I also use them to display my elements and principles that you can see there above the board. 